All right, you have been warned. The Face app has gone viral this week. The most popular download on the Apple Store and uh, its ability to change a person's age in a photo operated by a Russian company, and that may be a problem. Some privacy experts say you should steer clear of this thing. Britt Seidentoff is the executive vice president of the IT company Global Asset. Have you done it? Are you afraid of this thing? Funny story. So I'm laying in bed last night talking about this episode, and I look over at my wife, and she flashes her phone to me, and there's the app. And a picture of her in 20 years. Yes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you said? I said, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you thinking? Exactly. I'm on the show this morning, and you're using the app. Yeah, yeah. Well, so here's what uh, part, part of the terms of service, and nobody... No, nobody reads the terms of service. You might. Nobody else does, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's, it says you basically are giving away uh, a perpetual, irrevocable, non-exclusive, royalty-free, worldwide, fully paid, transferable, sub-licensable license to use, reproduce, modify, adapt, publish, translate, create, derivative works from, distribute, publicly perform, and display your user, your pictures. Yes. Anywhere in the They can do anything they want with any photo. Yes. Does that worry you? So every single app that we use or download has very similar terms and conditions. So for the last decade since smartphones started, most of them have the same terms. Mm -hmm. So this isn't a new concept. It's been around for quite some time. Does the fact that it's Russian uh, worry you in any way? You know, I think there's a bigger issue at hand here. Whether it's Russian, Chinese, none of that matters, American. I think what it comes down to is as a consumer, what you have to do is take responsibility that when you download information or, you're, or an app and you post your information to that site, mm -hmm. right, assume that it's going to be at risk. Now, some people have found out the hard way by actually reading the terms of service that they may actually not just be giving access to that one photo of me smiling that I'm going to upload and see what I'll look like in 20 years, God forbid if I'm alive that long, <laughs> but also every photo on my phone. Yes. That should scare you. Yes, it should. And that's something that you have to accept if you're going to put your information out there. Right. The only way around that is to not download the app. Right. Read the terms and conditions. Yeah. If you're not comfortable, don't do it. Yeah. If uh, you do, assume it's going to be out there. Wh where do you, you have no idea where this is going to go. They say we're not using this for er any evil purposes. We're not giving this to Russian intelligence. Take our word for it. Yeah. That goes back to personal accountability, right? If you feel that your information is going to be at risk and used for purposes outside of those terms and conditions that you've agreed to, just don't use the app. Do you, do you worry more about the ones that want your location, you share your location? That worries me a little bit too. They do ask, in most cases, may we, do, would you share your location with us so we can target advertising to you? Yeah. That worries me a little bit that somebody is tracking me everywhere I go. They're already doing it, right? They're already doing it, everywhere yeah. we go, right? There's cameras everywhere, GPS. Every, anybody with a cell phone has a digital track record right. of everywhere you've been. So your only solution is to uh, crawl into a box, don't use a smartphone. Don't use it. Yeah. Don't use it. That, that, that's your alternative. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that was helpful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Brett. You're welcome. All right.